hello everyone welcome back to the channel hello my name is grace and i'm a minimalist in progress so on my channel i try to talk about things that generally fall under the category of ways like realistic ways to have a better more intentional and happy life usually i tend to talk about minimalism but this week, I'm, I guess I'm kind of decluttering, downsizing in a way. I am going to tell you how to downsize everything. All of your journals, planners, to-do, scraps of paper, lists, notepads, everything. Into one journal. Some people may call this a junk journal. I'm going to call it an everything journal. And I will bring you along as I set up my September and I will also tell you kind of like how I fill it up. But before I do that, I just wanna give literally one minute, 60 seconds of context slash backstory. This is a culmination of a lot of unsuccessful bullet journaling, unsuccessful regular journaling, and super chaotic to-do lists that just exist on like every scrap of paper that is nearby where I am. I say unsuccessful in the way that I was just never consistent with it, like every single day. So this way I can put all of the stuff that I need, want, use in one journal and not feel guilty if I don't use it every single day. And you know, obviously as a minimalist, just having one journal instead of like four is ideal. But the main thing was really just letting go of the perfectionism and this is the solution. Also as someone with ADHD that I feel like I buy a new journal I think that's gonna solve all my problems and then I don't use it and then it feels like a waste of money and a waste of space. Firing on all cylinders, it's solving all the problems, it's fixing everything, let's get into it. Okay, so I'm not a bullet journal YouTuber. I don't really do this, so I'm really sorry about like the shadows and stuff. I don't have a whole setup for this, so this is the best that I could do. But anyways, let's get into it. So this is my journal. I got it from Archer and Olive. This isn't like sponsored or anything, but I freaking love their stuff. I highly recommend just buying one little journal I will never buy a different brand of journal. I love Archer and Olive. <laughs> They're my favorite. Anyways, let's get started. Open it up. I don't want to take too much of your time, but you know, this is how we set it up. I like to set up my journal with some intentions. This year, my intention was slow living, so I kind of wrote out a couple of things that I wanted to do. And don't be fooled because I started this journal in April. So you can start it whenever you want. You could start this in September and be like, intentions for the rest of 2023. Doesn't matter. Anyways, this is kind of like the key of like what the symbols mean. To be completely honest with you, I don't use all of these. I thought I was going to at the beginning when I set my journal up, but I haven't a thousand percent been using them. I almost want to cover it. This is a bunch of information about Rachel Stevens' constellation system. I feel weird giving out this information because I got it from a friend who did the course and paid for it, and I don't want to be leaking the information that this created has behind a paywall because I feel like that's not right of me as a fellow creator. She's just trying to make a living. This is what she does. If you want to learn more about the constellation system, she does have some free resources about it on her website and I have found it immensely helpful to my life in general. Anyways, then I have a calendar. One of my lovely friends actually created this and they do one every year, which is super cool. And I'm so excited to see what next year's is gonna be. And then this is supposed to be what my ideal day is supposed to look like, but clearly I have not put anything here. So I need to do that. Anyways, we started out in April this year. I'm gonna set up my September now and then I'll kind of go through what stuff I put in here. Again, a lot of this is very inspired by Rachel Steven and she puts all of her journaling stuff on YouTube. So please check her out if you feel so inclined. Let's get started. Basically what I like to do is start out on a blank double page, write the month. I'll usually end up doing some kind of a little calendar on this page or maybe this page. And then I post a little picture that kind of just sets the vibe for the month. I've actually 
printed out all of my pictures for the rest of the year. This one's gonna be the one for September because I'm going to visit England in September for a family reunion, which I'm super excited about. And this is actually a place in England really close to where my family lives that I'm visiting. It's the Glastonbury tour. And then I have a cute little, this one for October this one for November, and this for December. I'm super excited. So I'm gonna tape that in there because I actually don't have a glue stick. Uh, I should probably get one, but at the same time, I'm like, minimalism. I have tape and it works fine. <laughs> Okay, so I set up kind of what I like to do at the beginning. I have my little September thing. I have the kind of month at a glance. And then usually on this page, if I don't really have anything else to do or track, because I've noticed that I don't usually stay on tracking stuff if I like have to write it down in here every day, I will just put my journal prompts here and if you want some journal prompts, sign up for my monthly email. I'm gonna use the journal prompts that I sent out to everyone in my monthly email on September 1st. So sadly, it has already passed, but you could definitely get on the email for next month. I send it out at the beginning of every month. It kind of does a little check-in, see how you're doing, see how you're going for the next month, how we can refocus. And then it gives you some journal prompts and things to focus on. If you want some journal prompts for the month of September, then please feel free to use these, enjoy them. The word of the month is curiosity, so that's what these journal prompts are kind of prompting you about, I guess. <laughs> okay, on to the next. So basically, in the junk journal slash everything journal, you put whatever you need in it. There are no rules. I think that is the most difficult part to get over because I was a really intense bullet journal girly for a while, but I was a very serious bullet journaling girly. So I used to make beautiful spreads and then after a while, it just got to be a lot of energy to continuously create these spreads and keep up with them and always be writing stuff when I was still also writing other stuff in my Google Calendar and I just, there was too many things going on and then I had a journal as well and it was just a lot to keep track of essentially. So what I do now, if I can just show you, the other week it was just to-do lists that, cause that's what I needed that week. I just needed to write what my to-do lists were for each day and it was very helpful to me. The other day I kind of just like wrote out my script for a YouTube video that I was creating and then I had a packing list the next day. So that's the beauty of these journals. There's no rules. You kind of just put whatever you want in them and I think that's the beauty of an everything journal is that you don't need to have things in a million different places. You can kind of just have it all in one place. So. Right now, if you care to watch, I'm going to really quickly set up like a weekly thing and then a little space for me to journal out some thoughts. So here we have my weekly overview and then kind of set up for my little September brain dump journal, whatever. Yes, I'm filming my video two or three days before it goes out. Sometimes I don't have everything together, okay guys? So that's pretty much what my little September is looking like so far. But again, you can use this journal for whatever you want. September 1st, I'm just gonna be doing a little journaling right here, but you can do a brain dump, you can do a to-do list, you can do a grocery list, literally whatever is in your head, just write it down in here and it will help you. I have so much random crap and the fact that it's really colorful, I feel like is super nice as well. Like 
For a while, like sometimes my entire week just looks like to-do lists and brain dumps because that's what helps me. There's lots of color, lots of, this is, whole week was just journaling. This was notes on a masterclass about like YouTube and stuff. And then see, I haven't even done anything on this page. Sometimes it's a mess. And yeah, just do your little doodles, do your little whatevers, and just have fun with it. Because at the end of the day, it needs to be functional for you and you alone. Basically, I think the most important thing is just letting it be imperfect because there are so many things that we have such high expectations of ourselves to do and have and be perfect. And I am a recovering perfectionist. I used to be intimidated and afraid to write and draw things in my bullet journal because I was afraid that I would mess it up and that it wouldn't look perfect and aesthetic. It doesn't have to look perfect and aesthetic. You're probably just a regular person like me and you just kind of need to get your thoughts out every once in a while and having seven different journals for seven different things is really intimidating and confusing and whatever. I feel like most of us use digital calendar nowadays um because it is the 21st century the only thing that i need to do every once in a while is kind of just like refresh my memory on what i'm doing and sometimes having it on paper writing it down and having it at a glance for the week while i'm writing out to do's or kind of writing out my thoughts and how i'm feeling throughout the week is really helpful so anyways i hope that this helps kind of consolidate and declutter your journals again don't feel the pressure to have everything be perfect and aesthetic i started this journal in april because i just wanted a fresh fresh start and i have found this to genuinely be the cure for adhd journaling i have never looked back ever since starting this method of just doing whatever feels right just putting down whatever is in my head and it is life-changing honestly and i then don't have to beat myself up for missing a few weeks or missing a few days or whatever as you saw my august month i didn't even finish setting that up and like i don't really care because it doesn't matter that much because at the end of the day if it's not functional it's not necessary this has been the cure to journal hoarding for me because i used to have about 12 different journals all for different things and it's not necessary i have just let go of that perfection mindset and i think organized chaos is the key here because it's all in one place but it doesn't necessarily have to be or look a certain way but anyways i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i really love to journal and have something where i can kind of just spill all my thoughts out onto and i bullet journaled for years so this has just kind of been the natural evolution of that for me and i really hope that this helps you kind of consolidate all of your random journals into one journal which is helpful to people who are trying to be more minimalist anyways i have found this to be absolutely wonderful for my mental health and i really hope that it could be wonderful for yours too because that would make me really happy. I will see you guys in the next one. And until then, I'm sending you all my love because we're all just out here trying our best. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.